Now, this is the most important aspect, beta. Abhi tak, we have been continuously talking about lambdas. Lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda here, lambda there. But what is this lambda really? What do I want to, how can I economically interpret this lambda? What does this lambda mean? That is also important. So try to notice here that, so if you notice here, beta, I have this C here. This C is my resource that is available. For example, for example, but when I was talking about maximizing my utility subject to my budget constraint, then this C was represented by the income, right? So C is my amount of income. This constraint is my amount of income. Hai. And beta, as my income changes, as my income increases, so what will happen? Of course, I will be able to afford a better bundle. And if I will be able to afford a better bundle, then beta, my utility will also increase. So you have to understand that C is the amount of resource that is available. This C. And as the value of this C will change, as the amount of resource that I have, it will change. It will go ahead and it will impact my objective function also. It will not only, so when your income will increase, just say usually if I look about the consumer, huh? so let's say better this is the income of the consumer. This is my budget, uh, budget line and these are my IC. This is my equilibrium found using tangency condition. But if income itself will increase, I will be able to afford a higher bundle. If I will be able to afford a higher bundle, then that means I am increasing the consumption of X and Y both. So this X star Y star, it is getting affected by the level of income now. I consume karungi, it will be affected by how much income I have. So in general sense, the when you solve this Lagrange, you are getting this Lagrange may x star y star as a function of c. So when you will change the value of c, this optima x star y star will fluctuate. This optima x star y star will change. Just say in my utility function, I was getting when we solved it. We were getting x star as m by 4 and y star as m by 2. So this x star y star was getting was getting affected by the level of the resource that I have. Right? And because utility will be nothing at optima, utility will be x star into y star. Right, beta? So as I'm going to put this m by 4 and m by 2, so my utility will also be affected by, by this now. My utility will also be affected by the amount of resources. So as the value of C will change, F star C will also change. What is lambda telling us? It tells us how much does this F star C change when C changes. In other words, in terms of our example, how much will my utility change? when my income changes. So you see here now that when my income increases, I am on a higher indifference. That means I am able to go ahead and I am able to increase my utility. Heck any beta. So here, how much will my utility change? When my income changes, that is basically told by the lambda or the multiplier. So the rate of change of optimal value of objective function when C changes, that is lambda. Okay, beta. So in case of our utility, you saw ki jab when, when you see that my X is, so if you look at the first example we did, X star was M by 4, beta. Y star was M by 2. So my utility is how much? M square by 8. Beta, if I ask how utility changes, when M changes, if I differentiate this with respect to M, what will I get? 2m by 8, that means I will get m by 4. But do you remember ki mere lambda ka value actually m by 4 hi aaya tha. My lambda was actually m by 4. So basically, basically, 
the lambda already gave me the value of marginal utility of income. Why am I calling this marginal utility of income? Because of its interpretation. Ye kya bol hai? How utility changes as income changes. So isn't this marginal utility of income? It is. Beta, is cheese ko, is lambda ko, we call it as the shadow price of a resource. What is this called? Shadow price of a resource. Clear we baat? Okay, beta. Let me look you, take you through a derivation. <clears throat> so now, just consider, consider the objective function. Now consider the objective function, beta. So, mera ye objective function tha. Suppose I have found out my optima x star y star. Jaisi mene yaha pe nikal liya tha. Optima x star y star. And I put it back in the objective function. To ye meri maximum utility ho chahi ki. This is what I have done here. So I find my optima x star y star. Beta, they are a function of c. Jaisi yaha pe my c was income. So they were coming as a function of income na. So optima x star y star is a function of that resource function of c. When you put it in the objective function, you get the maximum value of the function. And this is also a function of C. Let's say here income was a function, uh, utility was a function of income. So now if I just put a differentiation here, if I want to differentiate this maximum uh, objective function value, then how can I differentiate it? I can apply chain rule. So it's a function of x and y now. So f dash x dx plus f dash y dy. f dash x dx plus f dash y dy. Clear rule about beta. Do you remember that we said that f dash x by g dash x is lambda? Ye sab se pehle humne use kiya tha. To beta f dash x will be lambda g dash x. Is tarikhe se f dash y will be lambda g dash y. So what I am doing is instead of this this f dash x, I have written lambda g dash x. Instead of this f dash y, I have written lambda g dash y. Clear me about? But, now if I look at my constraint, but my constraint kya tha? My constraint is that g is equal to c. Constraint kya hota hai? That p, this a constraint income ka kya hai? px into x plus py into y is equal to m. So this is my constraint. So beta, if I differentiate this constraint on both sides, what will I get? G. So a function kaise differentiate karte? Here I will apply chain rule. So g dash x dx plus differentiate with respect to y dy is equal to differentiation with respect to c. So now what I see that, what do I see here? That if, 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 here I take lambda common, I will be left up with g dash x dx plus g dash y dy. Right, beta? And this g dash x dx plus g dash y dy from differentiating the constraint is equal to dc. So I will just have lambda into dc and this is nothing but d of the objective function. So can I just take this on the other side and I will get this is equal to lambda. So we have proved that lambda is nothing but it is once you have your objective function maximized and you differentiate it with respect to the resource, you get the value of the lambda. Lambda is called the shadow price of the resource. The shadow price of a resource tells us how the objective function value will change when the resource changes. Is this clear? Okay, beta. Thank you.